Hey guys, so we had to move rooms. So I'm in this little private, in this small little room. Just got lunch with a coworker and now back to training. morning everyone it's sunday morning and right now i'm waiting for my friend who is picking me up for church we go to the 11 a.m service and today we're grabbing lunch after with a couple people in the church just to get more plugged in find a small group young adult group hi said hi, how old are you today four. <gasps> you're four years old Is your first toy open? Yeah. And look at these decorations. pretty decorations. It's PJ Masks. They cover this so I can But they gave me one, one giant toy. Did you like it? Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, so we have. A... I'm being a pickup. I bought a pickup. Being a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have ribs and all these sides. Oh, what's, is there something in there too? Mm -hmm. There's nothing like the way that you adore me I can feel love from miles away Hey everyone, today's video is sponsored by Bavea. They are a sustainable and stylish women's footwear brand and I was super excited to pick out some shoes to show you guys. They have a ton of different shoes. They have boots, flats, sneakers. This is the box that I received. And here are my shoes. These are the square toe loafers in black. I'm starting my first corporate job, so I have been trying to build up my wardrobe of work clothes. These loafers are perfect. They're simple, so they can go with all outfits. All of their shoes are very classic and minimal. Each pair of shoes is made by recycling six water bottles, which is pretty amazing. Another thing that's super important to me is comfort, since I'm going to be walking around the city. And these shoes are super lightweight, very comfortable. I'm super happy with these shoes. I can't wait to be wearing them to work. Here's the second pair of shoes. These are the round toe slip-on sneakers in black. I love shoes that are easy to slip on like this. You don't even need socks. These are comfortable walking shoes. I can totally see this being a good Disneyland pair, somewhere where you have to walk a lot and you just wanna be comfortable. It's also a very sleek and classic design, so it can go with all outfits. I like the white platform bottoms and I think you can just style these in so many different ways. You can also tell the quality is amazing. These are really well made. I'm going to link below the two shoes I got and all of Avea's information. You guys can use this promo code for 10% off any pair of shoes. A huge thank you to Avea for working with me on this video. Turn it off now. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you had a, you had a, I just you missed had some a, of it. You had a little Did someone idea? tell you? Wait, did someone tell you? You know who sold? <laughs> it's so oh. weird that you're here. <laughs> Is that so weird? You drew stars. <laughs> Were you surprised? Yeah. So I knew he was coming. Well, Lindsay did too, but it's 1 a.m. He just landed. Oh, hi, guys. Hi. What are you guys making? Cards. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas cards. Oh. 
We are having a feast tonight. We have food at you guys. Come look at this table. Amazing. Harvey. Yeah. And all this. I dressed Rambo for this special occasion. Hi, Rambo. Hi, Katie. Hi. What's he wearing? He's wearing an orange shirt as a dress. <laughs> Both of the Stanleys. Big fan. I love the blue one. USDA Prime Tomahawk Steak. I mean, both of these have been aged about 17 days. We have what's called the Florentine Steak. Basically, this comes from uh, Italian cows. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, boy. Thank you, everybody. I haven't had steak in probably the longest time in my life. We went to Notabang last night with our friends, and it was so fun because we sang Taylor, Conan, Liv. Cute. I'll put in some clips from karaoke. It's a gloomy Sunday. We just ordered sushi for dinner. I've been in a baking mood. It's gloomy outside. So I'm just gonna make this chocolate cake. She's gonna make frosting. Maybe. It's the box. What do you mean maybe? We need it. Should I do cupcakes or a cake? Do cupcakes. My Sunday was good. I went to church with my friends and then we got ramen after. I think Sundays are one of my favorite days of the week. I love going to church and we always eat good food because my church is in the South Bay, which I don't go to too often, but... I also haven't baked a cake in forever. My brother was home for the weekend, but it was only two days. It went by really fast. Let's do a Q&A or something. Okay, you, Have Come you here. seen um, Cookies and Crime or something like that? No. This girl on TikTok like, uh, makes cookies while telling me like... Let's talk about sibling relationships. Okay. How do you maintain a good relationship with your siblings when there's distance? Like one goes to college Ooh. or... Okay, you go first. Probably communication. It's the daily or weekly text of just sending updates and our normal sending TikToks or videos. I actually really like FaceTime because it's a great way to just stay updated. Our sibling relationship between the three of us is we talk a lot about just like daily trivial things, but also things with more substance, deeper conversations, faith, relationships. And when we all live together, it's nice because you can just pop into each other's room. And we, we usually talk at night for a long time, but we can't really do that anymore since like Tim's gone. Keeping in touch as often as you can. I'm not the best texter. I don't really like texting that much, but when you want to make an effort for certain people, you will. Just giving life updates helps us know what's going on in each other's lives. Or none of us have social media. Oh, that's a good thing to touch on, so, yeah. Talk about um, that. So we can't really rely on, yeah, like stories and posts to see what's happening with each other's lives, but we have to actually text. So I think that's a big factor. That's a great answer. Since quitting social media, how has that changed your relationships? Friendships, oh. siblings, family? Without social media, you have to put a lot more effort into friendships to communicate and to stay in contact. Because with social media, it's so easy to stay in contact and like just swipe up on your story or comment. Not having Instagram makes some relationships deeper. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I think it forces you to be more intentional. Yeah. And social media is good in the way that you can easily keep in contact with your friends. But now, if my friends have 
things they want to share with me, it's like they have to text me or call me and vice versa. So I think it might limit the amount of people you talk to, but it shows who are the people you're going to be in constant contact with. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if anything, it's actually deepened my relationships because yeah. you have to go out of your way. You have to put an effort into it. You have to put an effort. And I think it also makes for more fun reunions because if I was just up to date on someone's story, maybe I would know everything that's going on. But if I haven't seen anything and they haven't seen anything of mine, then we have a lot of things to talk about. So I have only seen positive change since deleting social media. We all deleted it in March of 2020. It started with Tim first, actually, and then and then you, right? I thought and then you. I thought you two deleted it, and then I was inspired. Anyway, we're all off. The only social media I use is YouTube, but I don't really count that because I don't really interact with people. Oh, I, I respond to comments, but it's more of just the- Mine is Visco. Diary. Oh yeah, Visco. And TikTok, I removed everyone off that, so. Except me, I'm her only follower. This year, can you go check? <gasps> yes, yes. Our sushi might be here. What is the best part of your day? Coming home from school. <laughs> Going to sleep. I really like slow mornings when I wake up with enough time before I have something to do, which is very rare because I usually don't do that. But making a cup of coffee, sitting down, reading. I also just like my morning routine. I use like my skincare ice roller. It's very therapeutic. I also really love going to the gym, but specifically after the gym, my mom and I use the sauna <laughs> and the sauna is amazing. It's the steam sauna. So that's probably one of my favorite parts. So shy. Okay. Agadashi tofu, roll, and then look mukbang. Yeah. <laughs> is there not a napkin in there? <laughs> Ever since I got a Stanley, I've been drinking so much water. I'm not even kidding. No, I've actually been drinking so much water though. She said that about the hydro at the beginning, like the first like She's month. She's obsessed. I'm obsessed with like the Stanley. first month. And then you think just... Stanley's her boyfriend or something? <laughs> with how much I talk with about. how much she talks about it. We all love sushi, but we always get sushi when one member of our family can't eat. Today's dad. They turned out so weird looking. I don't know why, it's like overflowing. But I have a second batch in the oven. Lindsay was supposed to make the frosting, but she won't do it, so. She refuses. She refuses. So I guess they're just chocolate muffins. It's good though. Also, look at this cute note Avery left us. It says, I love you so much, Elise. Love, Avery. So cute. Grab out Thor. Right. Summer after high school, when we first met. I'm gonna just right. Left, right. Summer after high school, when we first met. <laughs> 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 